What is going on, real people? And welcome to Keystone, Colorado. Now, Keystone, from where we live, is about 16 and a half hours, 17 if you're driving slow. So it was a really long drive, but we were determined to make the best out of this drive as much as we possibly could. So we hit the road with big smiles on our faces and we were just determined to stop and see everything as much as we possibly could, starting with these beautiful, gorgeous mountains. Now we stopped at this place in Amarillo, Texas called the Big Texan. Now, if you're a fan of steak like I am, I would definitely suggest stopping here because it is home of a 72 ounce giant steak. It's humongous, and that's right, 72 ounces. I don't know anyone can eat it, but this place looks like an awesome saloon, mounts everywhere. Me and my wife were extremely excited, and they had this thing called the Holy Cow Tower, 88 ounces of beer, like, who even does that? So anyway, after that, we uh, hit the road, made it to New Mexico, saw these beautiful, gorgeous mountains, saw a dormant volcano, and then finally made it to beautiful Colorado. And we were excited because our drive was almost over. Our butts were killing us, guys. But it was just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I could not stop looking around to save my life. Uh, when we get started getting closer to Keystone, it started getting really cloudy, and I thought it was gonna snow on us, but luckily it didn't. Guys, it's a white buffalo. Wild. I've never seen a white belt. And finally we started getting down uh, this hill right into Keystone and it was really snowy and we had to drive really careful because we were coming around tight turns and there's 18 wheelers everywhere but it was just so gorgeous seeing these snow on this mountain. It was just beautiful. What is going on here people? So we finally made it to Keystone, Colorado. And this is our cabin right behind me. I'm about to go up there right now and I'll uh, give you all a little tour of the place. Got to go up all these stairs real quick. Ugh. We got the uh, top floor so we can have the balcony and everything. Here's the balcony. I'll go ahead and show you all this. This is our little balcony. There are the mountains. <laughs> so we're literally like right next to the mountains and there's another mountain like right behind us. Yeah, this is our little outdoor area. Got the little grill. Oh, elevation is still kicking my butt. But here is the inside. A little dining area. Our living room area. Got my beautiful wifey over there cooking. <laughs> Here's the bedroom, the guest bedroom. Here's the guest bathroom. There we go. Not too bad. Big old shower though. <laughs> Huge. Huge shower. Next we're gonna go upstairs. Here is upstairs. This is the master bedroom. Got a big old TV over here. Got our drawers. Got a beautiful view outside of the mountains. So every time I wake up in the morning for a week, I get to see this. That's gonna be great. <laughs> I'm absolutely gonna love that. And then here's our bathroom. There we go, extra light. Yep. So that's the shower, toilet. Here's the vanity with the dual sinks. So not too bad, you know. This is this is all paid for by Christina's dad. So it was really, 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 really nice of him to do this for us. But it is super nice here. It is really, 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 really nice. I absolutely love this bedroom. It is just gorgeous. So gorgeous. Oh, and right down the road, guys, it's about three minutes down the road is the Blue River and the Dillon Reservoir. So hopefully tomorrow after we're done skiing, I'm gonna try to go down there and, uh, hold on, let me turn you all around. I'm gonna go down there and try to catch some trout. Hopefully they have some trout. I don't, I really don't know what else would probably possibly be in there, honestly. Uh, this is my really first trip to Colorado. So I guess we'll see. I'm, I got two poles, I brought my fly rod and I got my spinning reel rod. So yeah, we're just gonna go down there and see you tomorrow. So uh, 
I guess I'll just see y'all then. <laughs> Until then, uh, I'm about to go downstairs and eat some spaghetti. I am starving. It took us 17 hours to get here. Long drive. So I am starving. So I will see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> What is going on, people? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. We are in Keystone, Colorado. If y'all been keeping up with me on YouTube, you'd see that we drove 17 and a half hours to make it to Keystone. And right now, I'm on the Blue River right here. It's a piece of the Blue River. It's like the very beginning. Right above us is the Dillon Reservoir. So, about to pick up the fly rod, about to pick up the spinner rod, and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get on some of this awesome trout I keep hearing about down here. So. We will see, so y'all stay tuned and uh, wish me luck because I am going to need it. We got the fly rod hooked up. Ugh. Trying to balance on these rocks so I can get a further cast. And I'm not doing good against this wind. Not doing good at all. seeing them now. I think they ghosted me. These are nice size ones too.
Good, how you doing? Uh, I've seen like three or four of them, but I can't get them to bite. Yeah, it's tough. A lot of these trout, I think, are pretty educated. You're a game warden, correct? Yeah. Okay, I had a question. I couldn't find it online. I'm from Texas. Sure. Is it barbless here? Uh, no. No, okay. Artificial flies, lures only. So, only flies? Uh, anything artificial. So, okay, so this little jig is okay? Yeah. Okay. It's not like a, yeah. Okay, just no, wanted to make no sure. Power bait. Oh, no. Like okay. Fishing license. I, I got it. It's on my phone. Cool. Uh, let me put this down real quick. Yeah. In this area too, it's catch and release only. Yes, sir. I'm not gonna keep any. Yeah. I'm just trying to get some on footage. <laughs> let me get it. Gallery screenshots. Uh, where's the full one? There it is. Do you have your ID with you too? Yes, sir. It's in my pocket. <laughs> There you go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Ooh. Thanks, man. No problem. Yeah. Well, best of luck. Thank Have you. A gorgeous day, if nothing else. I huh? know, I know. And I heard the weather's supposed to get pretty bad on Friday again. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. We're having like a little bit, uh, it's going back to winter for a sec. I yeah. Guess it's <laughs> Are you sticking around that long? Uh, we're leaving out of here Saturday morning, going back to yeah. Texas. Well, drive safe, man. Roads get pretty nasty, as I'm sure you can imagine. Oh, yes, sir, for sure. All right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate yeah, you. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Oh, there he is again, right there. I'm a license. Yeah, he was just checking. I can't get this one right here to bite. <laughs> There's like three of them right around here. They are. They're not like the Oklahoma trout. <laughs> yeah, they're right here though. Yeah, he was just checking. <laughs> yeah, let me see it. Looks good, baby. Yeah, gum I can't can't get on. They keep coming up right here and just chilling right there. Alright, so saw a whole bunch of trout there. Could not get them to bite for the life of me. Really, really tried. So we're coming over here to this other part. It's under the bridge and I'm probably gonna get wet, but we're gonna give it a try. This is very sketchy. Ugh. Huh. How hard could it be, right?
water's gonna be cold, but fuck it. I'm so gonna get my feet wet right here. Ugh. All right, guys, so I found a little spot kind of off off the beaten path here. It's a little road that leads to our cabin way back there. There's this really big raging creek right here. It's really beautiful. Man, there's this raging. Woo. I would say I might cast here, but I don't even know if my lure would work. It's raging. We need to find some a little calmer. Definitely some calmer waters. There's got to be something back here. Oh, man. Guys, this is like straight up bear country back here. Oh, but it's so cool. What is that? Is that deer tracks? Check it, guys. What is that? See? It's like right here. Huh. Might have been a deer to see him going. Wow. That's pretty cool. Be really awesome if it was an elk, because man, those tracks are huge. Look. They're big. They look pretty fresh, too. Try to find some calmer waters. What? Come on. Well, ah. I'd say that about does that. I didn't even see that freaking limb there. Dad gum it. Ah. Oh, 
fishing today was very difficult, way harder than I thought it was going to be. But at the end of the day, I really can't be mad because I'm surrounded by mountains. Awesome view to look at every morning when I wake up from my cabin. <sighs> so even though I didn't catch any fish today and I saw them and I got stopped by a game warden, all in all, I can't be mad. It was a great day and it is just absolutely beautiful here. I mean, how can you be mad? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say guys, it's just, it's just great, it's just great. <sighs> just feel lucky. <laughs>